I'm going to show you how you can connect to a shared network drive when you're away from campus. There are two main types of network drive you'll connect to. One is your home folder, which is your individual storage, and then also shared network drives. For either of them, when you're connecting, you need to know the file path. That's going to look like this for your home drive, and all you have to do is replace this bit with the first letter of your username. So for me, that's a J, and then you'll have to put your username in here. So for me, that would look like that. For shared drives, it's a little bit more complicated. You're going to have to find out the department label here, and there will be a subfolder which will have a department label underscore shared, and then you may have folders within that. I'm going to show you how you can find that out if you're at a work machine. If you're at home, you may need either your colleagues to tell you or you can contact IT Service Desk and they'll help you. On a work machine, if you go to File Explorer and scroll down to your network locations, if you use a drive that's already mapped, here we go, it's going to have a network location in brackets. So you can see it starts off here with slash slash files slash shared. That's exactly the same here. The only difference is when you're mapping it away from campus, you need to make sure that instead of just files, you put files.kent.ac.uk, then have slash shared. And then this folder here, for instance, I have InfoServe slash IS shared slash user services. So I'll just put that in here. And then the last bit is actually going to be the name of the drive. So that's actually the final folder within this network path. And you can see my home drive is the same format there. So I've got the file path there, which is the same as this bit with the home at the end. So once you've got the network paths you're going to use, we can map them. So I'm going to switch to a home scenario and show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm now going to connect as if I was at home. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you're connected to the VPN. After that, open up File Explorer and right click on this PC. Then go to Map Network Drive. So I'm going to map my home folder first, and it doesn't matter what drive letter you use, but I'm using Z so that it mirrors work. Now we need to put in the file path. And tick connect using different credentials. Then click finish. Now this is actually coming up with the correct username for me, but if you see anything that is different to UKC backslash and then your username, click on this more choices and use a different account. It needs to have that UKC at the front. Tick remember my credentials and OK. There we go. Now when I go to this PC, I have that home network drive. Okay, so let's map the other network location. If I right click here, 
map another drive, and again, doesn't matter what drive letter I use, I'm going to use S for shared. Okay, so that first bit's going to be the same for you, and then after that, will depend on your department. Okay, and use different credentials, finish. And as before, if that's anything other than UK Slee slash your username, go to more choices and use a different account. Because this is correct, I'm just gonna put my password in. And there we go, I've mapped to a shared network drive. Thanks for watching and I hope that's been helpful.